Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm saying good evening. This is coming out tomorrow morning, but I'm recording on Monday, Monday night. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to tell you about a deal that's gone bad, that's gone wrong, that's exploded at the 11th hour. I tell you about all the good things, so I'm going to tell you about some of the things that happened that's frustrating, that you can't really control. You can't do anything about it. But do you know what? If you keep trying and keep trying and keep trying, then deals will come off. But you'll also get deals that don't come off. So for people who have been listening to this podcast for a long time, know that I've been talking about a site in Scotland. Now, the site in Scotland was going to be in Irvine. I think it's always Irvine. Irvine. I think that's how you pronounce it. I always get it wrong. My dad, my dad loves it, Evan. And he says, he said, Dean, you pronounce it, you're pronouncing it all wrong. And I'm like, what the hell, Dad? Um, to find a good site, it takes time. It takes a long period of time. Um, you've got to do a lot of search and a lot of due diligence. I have a massive process that I go through uh, to find the correct site, to do my due diligence, to make sure that it's not over-serviced, and to make sure that I know the site's going to make money. Now, this plot of land was £18,000 for half an acre in a brilliant location, brilliant location. I'd been down three or four times. Evan, it's probably a five-hour drive for me, and so I, I stay over there when I'm there. I, will, I I, I really got to enjoy the, the, the town. I, the broker was an unbelievable chap as well. Really, really got on with him. The um, the owner of the property, of not the property because it was a bit of land, um, he was a great guy as well. I went down to, he's got the owner's a hotel and he's got a lot of money, so money wasn't an issue for him. And it was basically, this plot of land was up for £18,000 for half an acre. I did my numbers. I got three months free rent as well. And I did my numbers and I thought, you know what? I can open this for £20,000. I can open it for twenty grand, including all that. I was going to document the whole process. I was going to show you guys that I can open it for twenty grand, and I can turn it within two years, within 24 months, I can I can net over £100,000 from this one property. Um, yeah, I was, I was super excited, really excited. Um, but one problem was, could we get planning? Because it was in a housing estate and it was... It was earmarked for development. There was hoping to develop the land um, for, for buildings. However, it did have retrospective planning for a container site. However, it's a little bit different in Scotland. I don't really completely understand it myself, but I got my agent and he, he basically, the, my planning guy, and he basically said, Dave, do you know what? I think we can, th- there's a chance we can get it past here. But I think it was 89 containers to put on. We'll put, we'll put it in and we'll see where we are. Anyway, it came back and says, will only grant you for 10 years. I'm like, no, no, 10 years is no good because I'm going to spend half a million pounds and make it look really good. Um, half a million pounds, including containers and stuff and, you know, making the site look really good. It's already got a fence around it. It already had tarmac as well. So there wasn't a lot of money to be spent on it. However, when you start with containers and stuff, um, uh, you know, and a double stacking, etc., it's going to be half a million pounds. In 10 years, I'm going to spend half a million pounds because there's going to be probably 100 containers downstairs. Um, so what? And I'm going to paint and make them look nice. I'm going to spend a little bit more than normal. And then we're going to have toppers on the top. So, yeah, it was going to be over half a million pounds was going to spend. And so I simply said, look, I can't do it for 10 years to the planning department. Because if we do it for 10 years, then um, it's, I'm, I'm, the, the idea is that it, it puts a high evaluation on my company when, when we decide to sell. Because, I, as you know, I'm documenting the journey to a 100 million pound exit, a nine-figure exit. I'm documenting the whole journey, businesssoftstories.com. And so everything is done with the end in mind. And so 10 years, 10 years is no good for me because there's no resale value. So I said, I said from a planning guy, I said, please go back and just say, look, we, we need we need a planning with no timeline associated with the with the land. Because if we do, it doesn't it doesn't really work for me. Right, then we'll go back. Anyway, this was uh, another eight weeks had gone past. And then we got the exciting news, exciting news that it was passed. It was passed. And it's just before Christmas. Dean, just let you know, uh, early Christmas present for you. Duh, 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 duh. It's passed. I'm like, brilliant. Right, solicitors, let's get going, everybody. Let's get going. We're going to get this complete before Christmas. And that was the end. The aim was to get done before Christmas. I'd got Willbox all lined up with containers, asking them how how much it would cost for delivery, etc., how many I could get. And uh, yeah, and I got I got three rooms credit with Willbox as well. So I'm like, oh my God, this is brilliant. I've got three months free rent. I've got three months credit with Willbox. I can get 10 containers. Within, t- within three months, I have had um, three containers filled. I've, be- I've done my homework um, on all the all the uh, companies around uh, the, the 
sell storage facilities around there. They, there was a container site that is completely full. Bear in mind, by the way, Irvin had been on my hit list for three or four years because uh, I knew the population of the town, etc. And there was no self storage in there when I first looked. Since then, there's been two cropped up. Um, one container site, which is full, um, really nice, really good location, brilliant location, um, but it's full. And then there's another one. Get this. This is where it gets a bit, a bit of a copycat. There's a store mall in Irvin. There's a store mall in Irvin. Yes. Set up in 2021, Stormwall Irvin. If you Google it, Stormwall Irvin, you will see Irvin. They've copied. <laughs> They've done the shop pit from Janice. I've spoken to Janice about this as well. And um, exactly the same colours as me. Everything is exactly the same. Even the logo looks like me. And so I know you guys listen to the podcast, and unfortunately, I do have to because I'm going to go to Scotland. Uh, we've got a trademark for Stormwall, so there will be a season to Sisla to go out. Um, sorry. <laughs> Because obviously it's our brand. We spent money on a trademark. Anyway, that's by the by. But but when I saw that, I was like, oh, people copy. Uh, sorry, people model. It's okay modeling. Like I model a lot of self storage operators up there, and I use a lot of what we see. But I don't just copy. Anyway, by the by, um, I knew that Irvin was a brilliant place to open a self storage. I knew that it'd do well. I knew the location was good, and we was literally days away. Um, I think everyone broke up on the Friday before Christmas and we was hoping to get it signed that day, the last day. And for one thing or another, it didn't happen. But I was told, Dean, do not worry because it's going to get done early part of next year, best week in January, whatever. Excellent. Let's do this. Yeah, brilliant. No problem. If you tell me it's okay, then I believe you. Anyway, the guy who was who has this land, I'll try and spoil you too much because I know I'm going on and going on. Um, the guy who owns this land, he's 70 odd years old and he was passing it down to his kids. And so but the agent said, I don't think there's going to be a problem, but just so you know, this is why the hold up, this is in January, I got told, but there's a little bit of a hold up because he's passing it down to his kids and they want to make sure things correct. Right? Yeah, no problem. And then I got the dreaded phone call saying, Ding, he wants a 10 year break. So it's going to be a 20 year lease with breaks for me only for me because you've always got to make sure you cap the downside so if it didn't work for whatever reason who knows it could something could go wrong and so i wanted to cap the downside side a five-year break and a 10-year break and a 15-year break and a 20-year break normally hire breaks every every five years because you're limiting your risk you limit why wouldn't you limit your risk however you don't want the other side to have a break because if they have a break they can kick you out and there's no resale value there's no resale value but it's not what i'm looking for because i'm looking to to exit the company at some point. And so if there's no resale value, I can't be done. So I said, Dean, I'm really sorry. The 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 sons have said that they're, they're probably going to want to develop this land in 10 years. I'm like, oh, no. Right, okay. Right, because I know that a sale was talked about earlier. And so I said, right, let's go back. Said, what about what about buying it? Can we buy it? Right, Dean, I'll go and ask a question. I said, I don't mind. I'll pay above the odds because I really want this bit of land. I'll pay above the odds. And we can get a deal done because I feel like I'm the fortunate, for, be, a better position now to actually go for freehold, and so and, and get obviously borrowing etc. through traditional banks and stuff. And they went back and said, unfortunately, not Dean. Uh, Ten year break. Uh, I said and said, is it is it is this way it breaks? And so are you are, are you saying that you just can't do a ten year ten year Dean? I said no. Unfortunately, it's a deal breaker for me. If they would thinking, I'm thinking that I hold all the cards. Of course, they're going to want. 18, 20, boy, it was 18,000. They upped it to 20,000. Okay with that. Um, and so I thought, yeah, do you know what? Fine. The, the, they're probably going to go for it because 20 years, uh, 20,000 pounds, 20 years, 400 grand. They don't have to do anything. And there it is, you know. Blah, 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 blah. And if I say it's a deal breaker, and they came back to me and said, sorry, Dean, uh, the deal's off. Uh, they want a 10 year break. And if you're not prepared to do it, it's a deal breaker for them. And so it's two sides of deal breakers. And it's just so frustrating because I've spent. I probably spent uh, eight or nine thousand pound at least. Uh, not not to mention my time going up there, uh, staying in Irvin, um a few times, well, more than a few times. And I got really excited about it. With but it's more than it's more than that because I've already designed the website as well for it. Um, so yeah, probably ten thousand pound I've lost, or maybe just over because I've the planner. I've had to play the oh, God no the planning fee as well. Oh, it's it's, it's well into five figures that we've lost for this. But do you know what? This is what happens, and this is what change. This is what makes 
the difference between the winners and losers because a lot of people in this situation would just think, oh, do you know what? I've been hurt, been wounded. That's it. Forget it. You can't be like that. You've just got to understand that, do you know what? Deals are going to come. Deals are going to go. Some are going to go through. Some aren't. The more deals you do, guess what? You are going to get deals that just don't get out of the line for whatever reason. And that's okay. It's not their fault. Oh, this is a bit their fault because I've changed. The heads of towns was done. It was a couple of days away from signing before Christmas. So it is a little bit their fault because I've changed the goalposts. But I understand. There's no high feelings on my side whatsoever. It is what it is. Unfortunately, these are going to happen. So what we need to do is just get back on the horse. And straight away, I've already been looking at other land as well. Um, and other areas that I can I can go into uh, because I do want another container site. I think it's a great way to build cash flow as container sites. And um, <laughs> I need cash flow. I'm going to open some more indoor units. I need some cash flow. And so the lesson here is: listen, de- deals are going to fall apart, and you just, it's, it's, you just got to expect it. The more, like I said, the more deals that we do, then you, we, we're going to get these where they fall down at the 11th hour, and the, the, there's a deal breaker that we can't get past, and the most important thing to do is not don't sign something that you're not completely happy with. So a uh, ten year for me, they might have extended it. They might not take the break, but they might have done as well. And I, I've got to stick to my principles to what we want to do as a business. And um, yeah, we've got the fundamentals are that ultimately I want to sell at some point. I think I do anyway. Oh, it's it's been built to sell. Maybe I'll pass it down to my kids. Maybe not. Who knows? But it's been built to sell. And so with that in mind, everything, every decision that we make has to be, is it going to add value to the company or not? That's a core principle. And this wouldn't add any value because it's a 10-year lease. It's going to be worth nothing. It, nobody could be interested in buying a 10-year lease and what, what's the point? Nobody, nobody would, there's no value there. So therefore, we had to walk away. Sometimes the best decision is to walk away, even when you don't want to. So that is Irvin in a nutshell. Because I was so excited, I was hoping to tell you guys. I even put in the newsletter so many times that hopefully I'll be announcing it. And then this week, it's just like, well, it, it was the back end of last week. It was it was going banana. It was it was starting to fall apart, and I knew then that it, the what the writing was on the wall. And then, yep, confirmation uh, this week that the deal has fallen down, and both sides have walked away. However, um, it's just one of those things, so I'm not too down about it. But yeah, I'll, definitely a little bit gutted because I knew what the potential was and but also because I'm going to I want to show you guys that you don't need to have millions of pounds self self storage facility you could do it within 20 grand and and then have six figures coming in every single year of cash flow that was the idea anyway and uh unfortunately I'm gonna have to wait to be able to show you and prove to you that um, right that is it a little bit gutted but we move on and we go again all right my friends I love you I appreciate you and I'll see you on Wednesday morning Right into there uh, when you listen to this. So I'll be probably troubling when you uh, when you listen to this. All right, love you, appreciate you, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.